Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86 Gaming, and I'm trying to be kind of quiet, so I apologize if I'm talking a little low. I'll probably have to crank it up a little bit because I am still in the hotel room, but we are going to be taking a look at Red Dragon's Kala keyboard. It's a pretty nice mechanical keyboard on a budget, and uh, I have avoided looking at Red Dragon long enough. A lot of people talk about them, so let's find out if I think it's any good. My opinion really doesn't matter. Your opinion is what matters. So uh, I'll do my best to sort of illustrate what I think of it and show you some of the features of it because looking at some of their stuff online, you, you get a little bit like, well, does it do this? Does it do that? And if it's not a question that's been answered, it's kind of hard to gauge if it's going to be something that's right for you. But uh, it comes with some neat stuff that I've actually not seen a budget keyboard come with. And that's something that's definitely worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, we'll roll through it, show some of the pictures of it, show some of the, show some of the shots of it, and uh, be able to kind of really get an idea of what it looks like, what it is, what it reacts like. Do a sound test comparison with other keyboards as well. And uh, show you something, again, that's really neat that you just don't really see in budget keyboards. And big props to Red Dragon for that because I really like what I see here. A lot of you just want a sound test, so we'll do that and we'll kind of get that out of the way. This is an awesome keyboard with some shortcomings, but let's go ahead and cover a few things real quick. It comes with additional switches. Additional switches, only uh, two of each flavor here that you see in front of you, and uh, that's kind of all you get. We'll do a quick sound test, see what you like. Now let's do a quick keyboard sound test. Out of the box we get some cool things like a keycap removal tool as well as a switch removal tool, that metal thing you see there. The box comes with the uh, additional switch replacements that I showed you, a disc for drivers that are ultimately useless, and a quick start guide that kind of covers everything you need to know about the keyboard. It's short, sweet, and simple. Here in front of you you see two of each flavor of the keys from Otimu that they give you in the event that you want to swap out different keys on the keyboard itself to try them out and see what you think. Uh, additionally, we get the keycap removal tool here as well as the switch replacement tool here and these are useful features. This is neat. This is just something you don't see in a keyboard at this price. The ability to take out the switch and kind of change them out. So if you decided to go with different switches in the future, you could simply take the keycap off, take the switch removal tool, carefully remove it. Now be very careful not to bend any of the prongs or damage the PCB on the keyboard itself. It's cool to give this to you, but just be very careful and make sure you line it up so that you're not bending the prong on the bottom to put it back in and you're good to go. You've now inserted a new keycap to try out. The overall construction of this keyboard is great. It's a nice metal construction and it's actually pretty hefty. It weighs a decent amount and is sure to make you satisfied as that it's not going to slide around the desk. Fold out feet in the back with a nice rubber cap on the back so that helps to prevent it from sliding around as well as in the front little feet that kind of grip either the desk or the mouse pad, whatever surface you choose to put it on. The encompassing feel of the keyboard is just pretty incredible. All in all being said, it's a nice metal construction and just something you don't see for this price point, something that I'd like to point out. Now you do have raised keycaps around it so you'll be seeing the blue lights or whatever lights you choose to pick, they're going to kind of bleed out from the bottom. It is a good thing that it's not super bright for this region so it's not just spreading light all over the desk. The wrist rest is a little bit of a letdown as it doesn't actually serve a functional purpose as a wrist rest. It's too short for at least my big hands which uh, my palm or the heel of my palm doesn't even land on the bottom of it making it more of an aesthetic choice than it is anything else whatsoever. All in all it's pretty nice. And uh, here we go with a gold plated USB connector and a braided cable. That's something that's a nice inclusion for something, especially at this low price point with all the features it packs. We use Otimu Blue switches. That's the natural flavor of the keyboard. That is the native switch for this keyboard. It comes with Otimu Blue and they're very nice. I like the way they sound if you heard in the sound test earlier. And it is packed full of features. You have tons of lighting features using function and any of the insert, delete, home, end, page up, page down. You can change through about three to four different features on each one as well as pick your own colors. You can adjust the lights up and down using the up and down arrows and the function button of course. And you can adjust the speed and direction using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard itself. 
there are tons of different features on this keyboard that you just don't see for this price and it is definitely something that is worth mentioning because out of all the keyboards I've seen this one really covers a lot of ground in the uh, mechanical keyboard market at the lower budget spectrum and that just really fills the void of what's missing on other budget mechanical keyboards now Otemu switches have grown on me and that makes this really easy to decide that I really like everything that it has to offer all the features and everything now really quickly we're gonna enhance the speed here so we can get through this quickly to kind of show you some of the lighting features it has because I did want to cover them all but I didn't want this to be a 20 minute video on all the different lighting features that it features so we'll just do this real quick enjoy your watch here and we'll move on and cover a few more things and be done with the video hopefully it was something that was insightful for you and showed you a little bit about the keyboard itself Other than that short wrist rest and other than the dim lights of the LEDs, I think this would have been a gold award from me, but it comes so close that I can't not give it the 8.6 silver award. It is absolutely deserving of some sort of commendation from me, and I would recommend this keyboard. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you found that somewhat insightful. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope to God to be back in my office sometime soon in the near future. If have any questions, anything I missed, leave it down below. I'll try to get back with you. I try to do my best to get back with everybody when I see a comment posted. Have a great day and night, whatever it is. Take care.